You're watching Terrier Vision. Inside Wofford Football with Coach Mike Ayers and the voice of the Terriers, Mark Hauser. We got to be a family today, and we got to show up today, and we got to fight. Those guys, good team. Good team. Their goal, their objective, objective of coming to Spartanburg is one thing and one thing only. It wasn't to go to the Beacon Drive-In, it was to come here and beat us. So each and every one of you guys, it's showtime today for you. Each and every one of you guys, you got, you got to punch that clock and you got to stand tall. You got to do what you've been coached to do. And you've got to do it to the best of your ability. Play this game hard. Play it within the rules. Play it for 60 minutes. Do what you're supposed to do. And we'll win. God bless you. I'll see you out there. Welcome into Gibbs Stadium. We're on this warm and humid Saturday afternoon. The Wofford Terriers will take on their I-85 rival, the Furman Paladins. Wofford, ranked fifth in the nation in the latest FCS coaches poll, enters the ball game at 4-0 and 2-0 and and in the Southern Conference. Meanwhile, the Paladins have won two straight ball games. They are 2-3 and three overall and 1-1 one and one in the league. Last year in Greenville, Furman beat the Terriers 26-21 behind a bruising ground game led by their running back, Gerodis Williams. Here are your highlights. It's Two receivers go to the right. Single back is Williams directly behind Hannon, who is up under center this time. Tight end lined up to the right. They're going to run an option pitch to the right, and Williams has room. 25-20, beats a man there down the sideline. 15-10-5, touchdown Furman. Gerodis Williams. Following a Paladin timeout, Furman first and 10 at their 49. They go out of the eye from the left hash. Hannon back to throw under fire. Hit as he releases the ball, and it's intercepted by Tarek Odom and returned down to the 35 and a half yard line. Philip Legrand hit the quarterback as he threw the ball. It popped high in the air, and Tarek Odom with the interception. Let's see if that's a momentum changer. Furman. They have three linemen down, four on the line of scrimmage, seven in the box. Handoff, Flowers, left side, pops through the pile, and he is very close to the first down. First and 10 at the Paladin 25. Now they'll operate out of the wing bone with one receiver right. And it's a fake of the dive to Breitenstein. Pitch near corner for Flowers, bounces outside to the 25. He'll race out of bounds inside the 20 to the 19. Second down and three Terriers. They spot the ball at the 18 on the left hash. Two receivers right, Simmons in the slot. Ash Lee splits to the left. Again, Cass out of the gun, fakes the dive, pitch right corner. That's Ray Smith, jukes a man at the 15. First down run for the true freshman, Ray Smith to the 11 and a half yard line. Back to the wing bone with Ashley split to the left, ball on the left hash mark, fake of the dive, pitch near corner, Flowers block out in front to the five, dives for the end zone, touchdown Terriers. Cam Flowers. There's that speed we've been talking about to the corners and to the edge. Cam Flowers showed it, turned the corner, got in the end zone. And the Terriers will go to the locker room on family weekend, down seven points. 14 to seven, Furman leading. First snap of the second half coming for Wofford. First down at the 25 yard line, wing bone set, fake of the dive, pitch far corner. That's Brian Yeoman, good room to the 30. He'll be high tackled as a flag flies. He's out of bounds into the Furman bench at the 35 yard line. And the Paladins may get called for either a horse collar or face mask the tail end of that play. Brian Cass up under center, takes the snap from Singleton, right up the middle, Breitenstein, finds a crevice to the 45, dives ahead to the 44. Third down, a long yard from the Furman, 41 and a half, they need the 40. Wing bone set, Breitenstein, handoff, left side, pops through the pile, cuts right to the 35 to the 30, Breitenstein to the 20, 15, 10, and he'll be roped down inside the 10 at the eight yard line. Johnson and Wade in the secondary make the stop. Breitenstein on a simple trap play in which they needed a couple of yards, pops it open for big numbers there. Fourth and goal from the three-inch line. In motion left, Yeoman, Brian Cass, quarterback, keeper, touchdown, Terriers. 
That's the way to start the second half. Very impressive drive by the Terriers and way to get Breitenstein involved in this thing again. Terriers first and 10 from the 25 in their end of the field. Wide outs either side. They go out of the wing bone. In motion left goes Harden. He'll get the toss left corner and he'll make the 30 and go out of bounds into the Furman bench. Far side at the 32. So he got seven. Cass looking over a four-man defensive line and he hands it away to Breitenstein and he'll juke to his left then to his right makes the 40, knocked over at the 41. Five yards for Breitenstein. First and 10 Terriers from their 48. In motion left, Flowers, single back, Cass out of the gun, wants to throw, has a man deep. Ashley open, 20, 10, 5, touchdown Terriers! What a well-timed call by Wade Lang and his offensive staff. Bit him in on the play action. Flowers goes in motion and a well-thrown ball to Brian Cass. Nice hands, Jeff Ashley. So much for the Terriers trailing. They've got the lead for the first time today. Out of the gun, Reese Hannon. Terriers three linemen down. Long snap count for Hannon. He's got it. Terriers just send three. Pass thrown over the middle, and it's intercepted. Mike McCrimmon near sideline. Fumbles the ball. It is loose at the 30, at the 40, and recovered by a Terrier at the 43-yard line as James Zotto fell on the football. Wofford's going to take over on the interception and then the fumble that they recovered themselves. With time to throw to the far side, intercepted. Picked off at the 22-yard line. That is Blake Wiley circling left to the 20, to the 15. He will go down there, and Wofford's got the football. Two knees, and the ball game is over. Pressure again, Hannon with another bad pass, his third interception of the day. Blake Wiley, how fitting is that? His stepfather played on Furman's national championship team, and he just sealed a Terrier win. And the Wofford Terriers on family weekend will send folks away happy. What a ball game. Your final score here from Gibbs Stadium in Spartanburg. The Wofford College Terriers 20, and the Furman University Paladins 17. Coach, I want to start with the first half. You're down 14 to seven. What was not working? Um, there was a lot of things not working. Uh, I think from an offensive standpoint, uh, Firm did a nice job on uh, some of our base plays. Uh, we had some issues as far as uh, blocking uh, defensively, uh, didn't tackle well, uh, didn't have as much pressure on the quarterback as we needed, and, uh, and they're a good football team, believe me. Uh, anybody that plays them, they better have it ready because th those guys are going to play it, and they're, uh, they're outstanding coaches. Uh, Bruce and his staff do a great job of scheming, and uh, offensively, I thought the quarterback, I, he's a player, and uh, needless to say, they got some running backs who can tote it as well. Uh, defensively, we uh, finally caught up with them and uh, had some things that, that started working. And uh, in the second half, we played much better defense. And I think our, our big thing was uh, in the second half, we got pressure on the quarterback. That, that was paramount. And then uh, we instead of allowing the backs to get hit at two yards and then all of a sudden wiggle it for another two yards. We were able to, to stop them, knock them backwards a little bit, and, and that helped as far as uh, getting them to where they were going to punt the football. Uh, they're stingy with the ball. They're like us. Uh, when you uh, have two teams like that, you got to make every series count, and you, you got to be productive. Uh, I thought their punter, he kicked lights out. I mean, he was something, and, uh, and Casey kicked well. Uh, I thought our cover teams did a great job, and uh, needless to say, you know, there towards the end, we, we came up huge with those intercepts. Uh, Mike McCrimmon, I thought uh, he, he was the man. He, he stood tall all day, and, uh, and some of our young defensive linemen, they had to play. Yeah. We, we've got guys that, that this is their first game, and, uh, and it's against a good team like uh, – firm and so uh, they they were uh, they, they were a challenge but uh, thank goodness we uh, we were able to come up with a little bit more than they had 
you know, knowing you like I know you, I'm sure the term nickel soup is going to come up when you talk about the defense now. You had three different guys carted off. Stephon right. Shelton didn't play. Right. Mike Nyam didn't play. Right. Alan Smith didn't play. Yep. Uh, what's it like for you and, and Coach Woody to realize you're that down on numbers as the game is rolling along? Well, uh, you just keep going to the bench. That, that's what you've got to do. And uh, there are some guys that uh, – got out there uh, in the field of fire, and uh, it's their first time. And again, it's first time against some quality offensive linemen, first time against a quality offense, and, uh, and they held up. They, they did great, and uh, proud of their effort, proud of the way that, uh, that we hung in there. And it's kind of interesting. We learned a little something about ourselves today because the uh, first time we've been behind and, and we were fighting an uphill battle against a very tough opponent. Tarek Odom seemed to get into the yeah. offensive yeah. backfield a lot. And yeah. I looked at the stats. Coming into the day, he only had two tackles all season. Yeah. What, what, what was the difference? I, I think uh, schematically, Coach Woody did a nice job of, of being able to uh, use uh, – what, what he has, he, he's very explosive, very quick. Um, we felt like, quite frankly, that uh, if we gave him a chance to move around a little bit, that, that he would create some problems for uh, Furman, and he did. All right, I know uh, you, you get to enjoy this one for a little while, but you talk about the hill getting steep. Now you go to Georgia Southern this next week. Uh, quick thoughts on the Eagles. Very good football team. I'm not sure what they did today, but Jeff and his crew do a great job. And uh, last year, I mean, they just beat us. And uh, we're, we're going to have to find a way to come up with a plan to, to go down there, play in a hostile environment, and uh, make sure that the plan uh, accounts for us having one more point than they do. Eric, 13 yards in the first half, well over 100 in the second half for you. What was the difference? You know, uh, they, they came out knowing they were to stop the inside run, and uh, they did a great job of that. Um, but uh, second half, we, we knew we had some things that we could come back with, and I think our offensive line just did a great job. You know, it was, it was one of those situations where you're down, you've got to bow your back to win this football game, so we stepped up and did the job. Uh, what was the mood like at halftime? What did the coaches talk about? You know, it's one of those things where we knew we could come out and play better than we did. We just kind of failed ourselves in the first half. Um, but, you know, the coaches figured it out. They, they met before halftime and came in and just told us, you know, this game with, is within reach. So, you know, all we got to do is play football and we'll win it. So with this week's hard-fought 20-17 win over Furman, Wofford remains the only unbeaten team in the Southern Conference, now at 3-0. They also are 5-0 overall. Next week, a trip to Statesboro and Paulson Stadium, where Wofford will take on the Georgia Southern Eagles, a team that beat the Terriers at Gibbs handily last year, 38-10. But also, Statesboro is a place where the Terriers have not lost in eight years. Should be a dandy kickoff is 6 o'clock. I'm Mark Hauser. Thanks for watching Terrier Vision.